Now, we're going to actually work inside of an authoring tool. This is where you create the actual e-learning. This is the deliverable the e-learning developer hands off to the project manager or client. All these softwares are pretty expensive, so I highly recommend using the trial version for now. In the field of e-learning, there are many authoring tools that are very popular and widely used in the industry. The most widely used and the most user-friendly software is by far a software called Articulate Storyline. This is the one majority of the companies use to build out their e-learning. Not only that, it is the easiest to use. This is a software that we'll be using to build out our module. If you're using a Mac, I highly recommend you have access to a Windows computer. I can't stress this enough. To not have experience in Articulate Storyline will significantly hinder your chances in landing an ID role. Articulate Storyline 3 and Articulate Storyline 360 are almost identical. Storyline 3 is the one-time fee software, whereas Storyline 360 is a yearly subscription version, which has a bit more features like content assets, like pictures and icons and templates. What we're going to do this week is get familiar with the authoring tool. You don't need to use every feature, just enough to build out our module. Storyline has a very good community support forum as well. Almost every question you have will likely have been asked previously by someone else. Even till this day, I reference the forums for questions on the software. Let's download the software and open the program. The trial version is long enough for us to build our module. Go ahead and download the trial and open the software. Once you're in the program, double click on the slide. You can see that it looks pretty similar to PowerPoint. You have the slide canvas filling up most of the screen. On the left, you have the slide thumbnails. Currently, we only have one slide, so you only see one. Just like PowerPoint, you can import pictures and shapes and add text and even videos. On the right, you have your slide properties. Right now, the default shows that when the user clicks next, the slider will jump to the next slide. If the user clicks previous, it will go to the previous slide. One big difference is on the bottom here, you have a timeline and every object you have on the slide will have a duration. For example, this shape will show up for the entire duration of the slide. If you add another shape, it will also show the duration of that object. You can adjust the duration by clicking and dragging. Now rectangle 2 will appear after 2 seconds. If you click the play button, you can see how it will look when played. You can shorten the duration of an object as well. To preview what your module looks like, we click the preview button at the top. This is what your player looks like. On the left is your menu and on the bottom right are the buttons. If you click next, it will go to the next slide. If you look at all the features in the insert tab, it may be a bit overwhelming. Keep in mind, you don't need to know every feature to create a good looking module. Most of the time, you'll be using images, shapes, and text. Get familiar with the authoring tool by completing the authoring tool scavenger hunt. Again, as long as you have the basic features down, you can begin building a module. As I mentioned previously, Articulate Storyline has an exceptional support form. I highly recommend you going to those forums and checking for answers if you have any questions.